The other thing about tornadoes is they're very selective. I mean, you could literally, your house could be fine and it could be the one next door could be completely destroyed. It just depends on, whew, just depends on, you know, what it wants to do. Have you experienced that yourself? Any tornadoes? Yeah, we had one really close. It knocked down a bunch of trees. I mean, it was, it was scary. I'm like, oh my God, are we going to die? Because yeah, the light was literally at night, the lightning was flashing so fast with just like strobe lights going on. It was like green and we're standing by the window and you're like, not supposed to stand by windows because stuff comes in. <laughs> a tree wow. comes through and breaks the glass. Yeah. Do, do, you, have the a do you have an no. underground solar? No, no. So, Normally so what I do is I just like, the bathroom uh, the same the time I just go to bed and just like pull the covers over my head. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know it's not the best risk, uh, you know, mitigation strategy, but you know, what else are you going to do? Okay. So that's, that's one of your, the projects you could do, right? You can, you could dig a, a make a, a bomb shelter or so the equivalent thereof. Yeah. I think that'd be kind of cool. Or, or, you know, it's interesting. I was watching some YouTube videos that are in there. like the way we construct houses has just been done this way for a long time. And they're kind of dumb. I mean, you can actually build like a concrete house that will stand 200 mile one hour winds all day long, no risk. And, um, but it's just, it's just not done for some reason. Yeah, you wouldn't do that here because that concrete house would fall apart in an earthquake and and crush you. So, yeah, yeah. exactly. I I remember when I, when I was living in Japan years ago and the Kobe quake happened. So this would have been Mm. what late mid nineties, early nineties. And, um, the houses that didn't fall down were the ones that used two by four construction following the, the, the American uh, construction te- techniques. Oh, interesting. The, the traditional yeah. Japanese ones fell down. And wow. um, so there was a lot of interest afterwards in U.S. Uh, construction techniques because even, you know, even though we use two by fours and then we have like uh, ang- angled uh, framing ones to hold them in place or whatever. So you get the triangle, which is one of the strongest thing uh, support mechanisms. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, and uh, what they found is that they allowed sway without falling apart. Yeah. Whereas something that's stronger... Yeah doesn't allow the sway can absorb the movement as much. So um, I found that to be really interesting, you know, yeah, but it is, even it is. like that quake in Thailand last week, which killed a couple thousand people. 